Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and today we're playing Hell Yeah! Wrath of the Dead Rabbit. So, this is one of the games that I have gotten for free since starting my YouTube channel, and I'm covering this November for Thanksgiving. Therefore, it's, uh, for disclosure reasons, worth pointing that out. I'm giving every game about 30 minutes to see if it will catch my interest. Uh, I haven't gotten any games directly from video game companies because I'm a video game critic. I've simply gotten things because they were free on Steam, free keys on Twitter, free from the Humble Store, uh, tw things just tweeted out, things like that. Anything open to the general public. But it is worth informing people that, of course, since I haven't invested any money in this game, I don't really have to be that interested in playing. Uh, that being said, this one has caught my attention a lot more than anything else. It's lacking in really options, particularly there's no audio options, but this is a game made by a company I've never heard of called Arkido, but published by a company I very much have heard of called Sega, and it doesn't look like it's playing around. Uh, this was came out in 2012, and I just played Galactic Civilizations, which was a game that was also released in 2012. Galactic Civilizations looked like a 15-year-old game. This looks like a 2012-year-old, uh, a 5-year-old game. Uh, you can see there's good graphics, nice animation, even on the menu. Let's just hop into it and start playing. So, fake voice acting, instead of real voice acting. Wow, the audio is locking up. Hmm. Why is it locking up like this? So that's an interesting setup for the the game is I have to run around and kill a hundred monsters who saw the scandal. But I have no idea why it was locking up like that, and this game feels like it's a kind of Sonic-esque ripoff game. Uh, we're playing as Ash Grey in the elevator. There's nowhere. Where are my minions? Busy viewing my stolen picks, probably. I'll make them regret being sent to hell. Also, where are my royal weapons? Better avoid encounters for now. So this feels... It feels smooth on the controls so far. Uh, seems like you can double click, but no wall jump. Or if there is a wall jump, it's not that good. Let's see. Doesn't feel like there's a run button. Or if there is a run button, I don't know. You need some help during your journey. Hmm. So this feels like it might actually be more of a Metroidvania platformer than just a platformer alone. Hmm. We're collecting loot for a reason we don't know yet. And that is hurt us. Good to know. Hmm. The game does kind of feel like it's going for a aggressive approach, being set in hell, playing as a dead bunny. You're you're already avoiding knocking some people out of playing for um, being able to play this because I could certainly see that maybe. In gameplay style, this is, a, is pro possibly a game that you could give to a little kid, but in graphic style, you would say no, and story, you would say no, because it's too, too edgy. 
Dear servants. Hmm. Well, obviously this series never really caught on with the public's interest, otherwise I would know these characters five years later. Or have heard of this game. But that doesn't inherently mean this is a bad game, it just means that it, nobody played it. Which is a thing that's easier and easier to happen. Let's see. Hmm. Unzoom. Right bump to zoom out. So, and good game design, they, they have this set specifically so you can see where you're going to end up going. This is auto-saving a lot. Music sounds good. And these are like butts. Ha ah, the prince is naked. What? What? Who dares? You're naked. You can't touch me. I'm behind the wall. Walls can be broken. So can your face. I'm coming back. So... If you can only find some kind of digging machine... With a hundred enemies in the game, this doesn't strike me as as a game that's going to be super long, but there is two pieces of DLC that I also have here. Of course, I don't think in 30 minutes I'm going to get to them. Let's see. Tutorial stuff. Secret love for pimping jetpacks. Please let me let that be useful for killing monsters. Even better, breaking walls. Right trigger in the direction for Jetpack Master. <clears throat> Let's see. Interesting. And I can use now this to kill things and I don't even have to spin it up. It's just breaking everything. Kill, 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 kill is the... You do have to spin it up to break walls, but you don't have to spin it up to break anything else. It, it, it feels kind of odd because it's like a digging tool and they have a life bar. Mash A button. Hmm. And I guess we're done with this level. A monster added to the monster index. And... Should I go further? Or should I just, like, hmm. I guess I have to go further. You have to press down. <laughs> New monster added to the monster index. So here's the thought I'm thinking is that this is moving pretty fast. Like I know we're in the tutorial section, but I, I feel like you very possibly are gonna just uh like this is too many animations too quickly and it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy doing these extra things cool I cleared the passage good old hell doors feeding up on weeping souls I think I like them 
This almost feels like this is supposed to be Max from Sam and Max. Or actually Sam from Sam and Max. Um, so... Like, it, it really does feel like this is kind of a reference for that. New radar feature. <laughs> radar shows you where the monsters are. It's very practical. And so now that we have the radar, we can use that. And you practically... So don't touch this. It seems like you have a pretty long hover now. Hmm. Mr. Fontaine, I know you all I'm always be flowing for you. You're the prince. And what does this do? Fill my health. Okay. Let's crush! And that cutscene kill move didn't actually break the ground where I kind of feels like it should. And it seems like I'm full of blood. So do I get more blood when I... Uh, when I kill things? Oddly, this doesn't feel like super as fast paced as I thought it would. Hmm. And that 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 was a little odd. Enemy looks invincible. Shopping solves everything. Press X to waste money. Hmm. Missiles buy me. Thanks for the money, have fun. And then skin, we could get music lover. Uh skater style, Bruce hat, alpha helmet, stop in helmet, democracy, dead baron helmet, a duck, a donut, an axe, a love thong face. Super cute face. Revolver. Hmm. Some of these are locked for now. But some life upgrades seem like they would be useful. Gun upgrades, missile upgrades, all seem like valuable things to purchase. And why not? Let's just buy everything. Hmm. I have enough money and... It doesn't seem like it's gonna be... Too much of a... Problem to buy things. It'll be interesting to see if this automatically equips or if there's some other way... You're supposed to do that. Mm. Seems like it may have automatically equipped. Now, this way in right trigger. Kiss my ass. And then mash this. Hmm. I had to hit the right trigger again. Hmm. 
No more chips. Do it by you. Do it yourself, big boy. So, no more chips from the tutorial. Hmm. Well, it did save after that point, so we don't have to worry about doing that again. There, there is a problem with games trying to be edgy for just for edgy sake. Wow. Apparently you can't. You have to be careful where you dig. Alright. Fair enough. Now I think I have to take on this brain from a distance, which of doom. Plus I have a, a lifetime of a dead rabbit. Let's go with why. All these little gags happening tells me that the game is probably incredibly short. I just don't think you would have this many gags in the first level unless this is all going away after the first level and I mean I suppose that could be the way this is, is gonna play out is that this is all you needed to do Are we gonna fight a boss? Ouch, that hurts. They built the ceilings too low. We should we call should we call health and safety? It's too late for that. Are you okay though? Oh, I'll be fine. Nice of you to ask. Now what are we? We just met. It's a boss fight. My first one, actually. I don't get to see the next zone unless I defeat you. What a pity. You seem charming, shall we? suppose we should. Wait, my pics, do you have them? Pictures? Awfully sorry, no. Long shot, but worth a try. So let's do this. Would you like me to start with some scary sounds too? My friends say boss voice is pretty impressive. Like, it's a little early to... It's a little early to be running into... This... A boss fight this quickly. Hmm... hmm. And I think they figured out a way to make me not want to play this game. Uh, it's a level balance issue. There's a game called Dishwasher Dead Samurai uh, that kind of has this problem of being an interesting game to play but it suffers from by being really really difficult to play and I feel like this might be the same case. We quickly got to a boss fight unfortunately now we've why did I teleport and like I'm one third of the way there and I'm just kind of waiting I guess we pause when That 
destroys the next level. This just doesn't feel fast paced enough. Interesting. And now we're targeting them and that's as far as I can shoot and There's literally nothing else to shoot. And before they introduced something like this, they really should have introduced a, a little bit smoother, a little bit faster gameplay on the basic mechanics. Maha, my plan is working out perfectly for now. Wait, what was that? And that was just the exit. And we're like already at the next level. Wow. So he's gonna give me a new item. Switch between your weapons. There you go. So now I have a shotgun instead of a, a missile. But you're still using... Wow. Man, it, it sure is easy to die. This is kind of the problem with Sonic games too, is that it's really easy to die in them and break the speed that you would typically want to have and that you're encouraged to try to to, to have. Metal made enemies can't be drilled. So I guess I'm supposed to be shotgunning these characters. That way I don't jump and damage myself. And I've killed seven of nine of well, these hot bullets. These are things that we can use. And I guess that's what I'm supposed to be using. Hmm. This game really doesn't need this attitude. It doesn't need that extra uh, and collecting things doesn't give you more health. And you don't regain your health. So I have 90 health now to. And my little shotgun shells don't. This is almost like a diagonal callback to Donkey Kong. Avoid the barrels. And that didn't work. 
So for now, let's avoid the bullets. And the control is not good enough to really pull that off. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> and apparently, if you don't get those quick time events work, if you don't do those correctly, then you actually don't kill the character. So that's a problem. It just kills you when you fail even if you don't take any damage so while this looks a lot better than a lot of the other games I've gotten for free it has some flaws that are kind of obvious and it's like when he's turning around you have to you have to let go and it doesn't seem like that works either yeah you can't beat it I can't at least like because of just this one quick time event there's a map system it looks good. Let's see. Lives, tell gate, teleport, shop, goal, missions. In the monster index, we've seen that there's multiple monsters, which apparently are worth some kind of amount of money. So I don't know if you unlock them or something. You can change your head. You can change your... 25 different ways of having a wheel, but you that tells you pretty much that all the wheels are Going to be in the game. You're gonna have that wheel ability throughout the whole game That is a lot of different head customizations Let's see Randomize that works uh, But that doesn't actually lock in either Apparently. It's not going to change the game any. It makes a kind of annoying sound every time you... Every time you use the right trigger to try and saw something. It's telling me I can't saw those metal items. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just return to the main menu and see if we could. Interesting, the game has DLC. There's clearly another thing here that you have to beat the game first for. And I, for a second, actually thought I was gonna play this one but it, it's too difficult like in this DLC is is going to uh, is probably just gonna be really really difficult to kill all the enemies in a limited amount of time I have 30 seconds to get all of these enemies killed and It's not working. Hmm. Hmm. Like, ref immediately it says I suck. Uh, yeah, this, this game doesn't smoothly introduce you to 
this style of gameplay. Hey, it's asking you to do something that that would probably take a couple of hours of skill to learn to get to be good enough at. So we did that, and because we did that, we got like a customization item and maybe some extra money that would uh, maybe help. You can. Doesn't seem like there's a ton of these missions even, so it's not even that much DLC. Uh, maybe if you play it on the more difficult levels, it helps more. Interesting. Like, this is an attempt to make a fast paced, sort of new concept platformer it seems kind of like a mixture between a sonic game and a m more of a puzzle shooter game uh, where you stand in place to shoot uh, but it's just so incredibly difficult to start off with I don't have any desire to continue playing it. this however looks good enough that if I had paid money for it I, that might push me over the edge and make me actually want to play this more but there's a lot of things that tell me this is only gonna get worse the further I go the fact that I've never heard of this game before the fact that I got it for free if you get a game for free at all uh, short of somebody who a friend or family member giving you a game there's a decent chance that it's a lower quality of games uh, the video game industry has a long history of flooding the market with bad games steam gets flooded with bad games and this isn't a terrible game uh, there is probably a niche of really good platformer shooter players that would get really good at this and and want to try and speed run it but it's not for an average player and it's not friendly to an average player it hurts a lot of its chance of sales just by being offensive when this could have easily just been like jazz jackrabbit maybe that is what this is a reference to is just uh, a new version of jazz jackrabbit which uh, there's some problems there too uh, I suppose yep so Combining the fact that it was free and that uh, that it's too difficult, uh, particularly because of the quick time event things, which and unless I could turn those off, I I don't believe we saw anything in the settings. Uh, no, there is nothing in the settings and doesn't seem like in the how to play there's going to be any more gameplay yeah I would be wouldn't be surprised if this is incredibly short too it looks good and it's very polished it's just not for me that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.